And assuming that I'm that is, you're hiring me in two months, it's known. But right now, I do have that bit of technical knowledge. Mm-hmm. What are some of the things you were expecting from this SDR from now on? So that when he comes into the role two months down the line, he kind of does a good job and kind of crushes it on the first one. I guess that's a better way. What would you expect from So nobody expects that you come and you start selling on your first day or on your first week. You have, uh, depending on, because like you have time, your first month is basically just to understand what kind of environment is around you. It's like the product, you're listening to calls, how other people are selling, and you're just shadowing them or listening to recordings. You are trying the mock presentation, so you're like thinking they send you a deck, and then you uh, try to present it one way, through two ways, second way, third way, and then you present it to your team and tell you, okay, this is what you're going to do. The emails, the DMs, this thing is... uh, grind and it requires hard work and dedication so like if you have hard if you're hard working and you're dedicated and you are you will be good in that like maybe in the beginning your first emails or dms are not going to be good but that is not uh, what everybody is looking for everybody looking for a person if you're an sdr everybody's looking for a person that's gonna one that you have the right attitude the attitude to grow the company the attitude to do something that you are active and that you are not the person that needs to be pushed because if if uh, you are the person that manager needs to tell you that do this or do that. No, it's not. It's not the thing. You need to be a proactive person that just tells, let's do this, let's try this, let's do this and this. And like SNSDR and, and in the beginning, like I'm not that kind of experience. I am not in the position that everything that I do is successful or everything that I do is like uh, I know that it's going to be good. I fail and the, there is a lot of where I fail. And it makes me, you know, it's like it's not the best feeling. But at the beginning, you don't have that feeling because you know that it's eventually, if you eventually prepare that it's going to be not very good, then and you take the attitude to improve, to improve and uh, you know work fast, work harder, then it's going to be good. So when you start sending your emails or DMs, you're probably going to have some kind of templates. You will follow in the beginning someone's path. You will not be thrown away that you're going to be completely on your own and uh, told, okay, so source us ten million dollars uh, every month or we're going to fire you. That's not what's going to happen. Uh, you will give guide, you will have guidance you will have emails you will have dms and at the beginning you will follow the path of replicating and of copying and only after you have gone through this long process it's not it's not one day and it's not one week after you have gone to a point that you're already done with copying someone and you start developing your own style your own way to do things your own way to sell this is the moment when you are going to start changing and transforming as a person and as a profession some stuff that you can do right now if you want if you really want to start to test out and to kill uh, some doubt in yourself about your email writing capabilities or DMs or about your grind. You can do what I did in the beginning. You, you can just go and uh, look for DAOs and find a DAO that uh, is looking for a partnership manager. Or if they're not even looking for a partnership manager, you can just don't, don't care about it. And you, and you tell them, hey guys, um, I'll be your partnership manager. Like do this and this, like who are you looking to connect with? And they tell you, yeah, fantastic, man. We're looking to do, we're, we're looking to grow business with these kind of companies in this segment. And what you do, you just go and you start DMing and uh, this will give you experience. This will help you to build this muscle that you need to do every day, that you need to send emails, you send DMs, send messages every day, prospect every day. You will acquire the basic skill and you and it also be like an upward battle. Then it's going to be easier for you because one, you already know that you can do this. Second, you already did this. And the third one is that uh, you have experience behind you. You know, the pro- you know the product. So there is not a lot of stuff where you need to run. You just need to see how you have been doing things, see how that already worked, then replicate it. And then once you're good in replicating, you will have, you'll get ideas for sure. You'll get ideas. Why we don't do this? How can we do this better? How can we improve this? And like slowly but steadily, that's how a good SDR grows. And that, that's that what I did. And this helped me to promote in five months. That was a very good answer. That was a very, very good answer. Please make a video on this. I would, I would absolutely love it. 